Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you guys can actually start adding and moving text inside of all of 0.2. So I've made tutorials before about this, but they actually updated it recently. So I have this clip on the sequence of just like a birdhouse right here, kind of starts there and goes all the way up. I'm going to add the text like birdhouse. So what we have to do is you have to left click on the add button, go down to title, click on that, and then you're going to see this little plus like sign and you're going to see this little line right next to it. So basically that's the starting of where you want the actual clip for the title to be slash the text. So I'm going to left click hold and I'm going to drag it out this way. So the yellow box that's um, showing up is actually the length of it. We're going to go until my playhead right there. I'm going to go to my pointer to real quick. I'm going to select it. So now, as you can see right here, we have a text going into the title node. I'm going to go actually and press the parameter editor. This is actually where you're going to be able to change stuff about it. I'm not going to go over all of that. It looks like they've also been updating this a little bit. But so now that we have that, we've been able to add the text. I'm going to change it real quick just to say birdhouse or whatever. Um, I'm not going to be explaining any of this, but um, it should be pretty simple for you guys to figure this out. So now that we have that, we're going to be able to now be able to transform it. So I'm going to actually go over to the node editor. I'm going to select it, highlight it in a blue outline, and we're going to do a right click and we're going to go down to add. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do a right click, go down to the filter, show all so you can see the entire structure real quick. So it goes from the text to title to the gap and everything else. So I think right on the text one, this just enables it and stuff. I think if we put it right in between here, it should work. But as you can see right here, there's actually a new node called the transform, which is super nice. So let's add that, add uh, distort transform. We put it right there for you guys. And now that you have that, you can actually just change those parameters and it'll actually move around the text, everything that you need right there. You can animate them with the stopwatch just like you would in like Premiere Pro or something else. With that said, we have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you and a playlist right there that is all about all of 0.2 with other tutorials and things like that for it. And with that said, remember, keep on editing.